Hello, I'm Neo Getz, and welcome to A Valley Without Wind. Now, we're back to games that I've never played before. As promised, I've not looked up anything, I've not jumped into this game before, have in fact just run the first time set up on Steam. So, let's hit play and see what this game is about. So, no idea what any of this is going to mean, so... Controls, keyboard and mouse, well that's what I've got in front of me, so yes. Um, basic default difficulty. I can jump, thank you. Um, what does that mean? Reduce number of background ladders, increase the amount of damage from falling, rate of lava rise? No idea what that means, but it's scary. Decrease duration of gaps in waterfalls, lava falls and similar. Oh, as in... When I have to jump through a gap in water, I'll get swept away, I'm assuming. Okay, um... Yep, let's go for it. That's given us a hint as to what might come up, but... Um, hmm... It's not a question of if they die, but when. Okay, so it's meant to be a difficult game. Rather than controlling a single character, a series of heroes... Okay, no problem. Possibly generational, then. Um, hero rings are dangerous filter by time period. Um, well, this one's got a mainly blue colour, so we'll pick that person. <laughs> no idea what it means, but they had a mainly blue colour. Okay, down has me on the floor. E changes difficulty. Okay, so I can flick that at any point. Um, side to side as normal. Ooh, nice high jump. Okay. Not aware of anything else yet. Fire Torch, or Fire Touch. Oh. Hey, that's cool. I burn down this forest now. Haha, <laughs> I can. Okay, this is cool. Did I get some wood from that? Yay! I worked something out. Okay, very nice. Oh, cherry tree. Cherry from that one. Get the feeling I probably shouldn't burn down everything. Oh, hello. Don't worry, you're safe while reading this. Well, that's good. You just walked by a gravestone. Others have fallen, trying to accomplish the same tasks you are now attempting. Learn from their epitaphs so that the same fate does not befall you. Okay, we'll leave that message open while we re read the gravestone then. Here lies Morgan Jules. Um, some date, having trouble reading red font. A bit too far away from the monitor, and I have issues with red font anyway. Extraordinarily brave, extraordinarily impatient. It tends to be what kills a lot of people. Um, she didn't even take the time to check her health status or what spell gems she had equipped for easy access. All she had to do was look in the bottom left corner and hover over anything she wasn't sure about. Interesting. So let's hit OK on that one a second. Health, when you take enough damage, you die. Max health is 196. And my upgraded max health is 196. Oh, sorry, my base and my up... Okay. So apparently I can get more than 196 at some point. Um, kill trash enemies, you get healed. Mana. Oh yeah, it is actually using mana. Regens quite quickly though. Oh, do not show again, thank you. Planning. Chunk level 1. All monsters in the chunk will have this level. Okay. Not too bad then. Living Lieutenants 4. Kill off the Lieutenants of the Overlord. Direct strength of the overlord is reduced. Okay. Continent level. Alright. Um, and that's my spell. I'm assuming that's the number of the hotbar. Fire touch one. I'm assuming the one might be the level. I wonder what's causing the glowy effect around me. It's disappeared now. I've moved. Mm. Um, let's see. Mana cost 57. Cooldown tiny. Red could mean anything. All this stuff can dip. Um, okay, um, let's just burn a few more things. Alright, I can hold to keep burning things quicker. That's nice. Um, can I walk off the edge of the screen? Yes, I can. Okay, um, one thing, Steam's just notices that Steam message. Let me close that. I've already copy and pasted the thing in, so planning. Still in chunk level one. Oh, message. Crushed under a pile of crates while trying to harvest granite. 
Um, survived by beloved wife and three turtles. Ooh, this game has turtles. I hope I can mine those. If only he'd remembered his fire touch spell gem. Well, that's what I've got. Um, so, fingers crossed with that one. Let's see then. Ooh, another one. Forgot to eat while harvesting ingredients. Oh god, do I have a hunger bar? Um... Didn't look in the crafting stockpile by pushing C, so didn't know I have more than enough. It's always good to gather materials when you can, but she was downright obsessed. Such a shame, you know, you need so many rocks after all. Right. So. Ooh, you can craft spell gems from them. Very nice. And some cedar logs, which are also used for crafting spell gems. Okay. Um. Okay, crates. Very short distance from this spell. I don't know if I should stand under that crate actually. Can I burn it from above my head, please? Curious as to what these lines are. Aha, platforms. Right. Can I Yes I can. Brilliant. So ooh. I don't know how far I can fall before it actually causes me damage. Now this one was a cherry tree. Yep. And that was a chest of some sort, I think. Alright, on we go again. We have some sort of a map down here. We've got these three that we filled in. 62% scouted, 38% visited. Whatever that means. <laughs> oh, missed an all. Fell into an acid lake, couldn't climb out in time. Okay, thanks for the warning, would have run into that. Girlfriend misses him, but doesn't want to mention my name. Always wonder why he left home without wooden platforms. Because we have no idea how to create wooden platforms. Um, ooh, pressing V brings up planning. Things I should do. Uh, okay. No idea what all those things are. Use 10 more upgrade enchant points. It's where the background just changed colour. It has, it's gone pink for some reason. Red. Not entirely sure. Get two levels. Okay, that looks like a lot more stuff than I can do in, like, sort of now. Oops, bring it back up. Um, where to find stuff I want? Okay. Right. Allow you to transfer a glyph of your character you are currently so a glyph of your character you're currently talking with, okay? Interesting. Um Stash rooms in buildings. Okay. Wooden crates. Oversized wooden crate, falls to the ground, stacks were jumped on. Those ones didn't fall to the ground though, unless being stuck to the ceiling means something. Blocks enemies, spells, and characters, floats in water, useful, can ride them upwards, oh, nice. Um, that doesn't really tell me anything. Big honking encyclopedia. Crafting. Uh, buy material. Okay. Cherry. A whip. Some sort of thing that for some reason is greyed out. And a load of things that require stuff I don't have. Alright, moving on. We need to work out how to craft wooden platforms. Actually, can we go back to that encyclopedia? Crafting by material was wood. Anywhere in the cedar logs. Fireball, missing some ingredients. Um. Okay, not sure what I'm doing at all. Well, let's head back home for a moment, because it's told me I want wooden platforms. Let's see if once we get back to the settlement, and what is that red dot up there? So we have a major map of the dungeon. Oh right, so we can just press E there. And... Intriguing. Oh, don't know why that's all black. It's 
mildly concerning. Let's just burn this down as well. Right. Well, I'm liking the controls. It definitely seems to be night time. Yes, there's a moon hiding down there. Mountain ash. Doesn't seem to drop anything. Um. Haven't worked out everything. Give me a second. Let's see, do we have any controls we can view and edit controls? Right. Move, dark, move, north on world map. Okay, yep. Jump. Ooh, controller also works. Action or confirm is E. Yes. Tab to switch target. Useful. Up is up, down is down. Well, that's all on the mouse, isn't it? Um, escape from the menu, that's what I use. Chat, I'm playing single player. Chunk of map, that could be useful. Dungeon map, there isn't one. Um, okay, there's an awful lot of different map options. Um, clear target enemies, Q, okay. Look ahead, G, useful. Walk, um, right, yep. Open usables inventory, Z. That could be useful. C crafting stockpile C planning menu V force drop quantity to all okay that'll be something to the inventory yes okay no problem very useful actually to have X for enchants H for labels left dot okay um all right back into the game. Ooh. Interesting. I have no other usables. Ooh, wait a second. I have wooden platforms. Oh, and I accidentally placed one. Um, can I pick it up by breaking it? No. Alright, be careful, you can place the wooden platforms. For some reason. Ah, oh, there we go. I think that chest must automatically respawn. So I get the feeling this um, air quoted dungeon can't see me air quoting, uh, is in fact, oops, well let's jump, as we apparently don't know how to place things in a line, and they create different sizes depending on where you place them, okay, well now we've realised that we actually picked up an item, let's continue and see what happens, ooh, um, just G doesn't really seem to do anything. Ooh, hello. Multiple levels of zoom here. I'm just paying attention to the map down here to learn what things mean. That one seems to be where I am. This one has things in it. Okay, so this one has a crack that allows you to walk. This one, that will be the blue thing then. Okay useful so we can walk home. Right, not sure why that one's green then on its own. Not sure why I need all these cedar logs either. Oh, darkness again. Um, were they? Out of curiosity. Wooden platforms. Pressing the right button here. There we go. I can place wooden platforms in the air. Success. Or at least, yeah, you can place wooden platforms on backgrounds. Okay, good to know. Some sort of. Hang on, that's me. E to enter Ice Age micro apartments. Alright, let's go in. You're safe while reading this. I love the fact that it reminds you of that. Uh, abandoned buildings like this are all over the place. You have at least one stash room. Oh, it said something about stash rooms. Stashes are yellow on your dungeon key. Okay. Um, bottom right of the screen. Yep. Quickly find them and get back to questing. Okay. Mini map upper left helps you to navigate. Green dots are passages you've used. Okay. Red dots are passages I've not yet entered. If you want more information, click the question mark next to the dungeon map. Oh, that's a question mark, is it? It's a blurry shape to me. I probably should actually start wearing my glasses at some point. Picked 
of an enchant. Um, okay. To equip it, press X, drag and drop it to the body slot it's made for. Alright, let's hit X. Ooh. Um, we have... Minor inner light emits light when equipped torso. And it lights up the square I can put it in. Excellent. So, hit X again. Um, we've got some clay. Note to tenants, corpses should be buried at night, at least 20 meters from the building. If you need a gravestone, climb down to store it. Useful. Don't forget to equip your light enchant with the X key. Okay, lots of platforms. Press E to hide in destroyed room. I'm assuming that just means press E to enter room. Note to scavenging losers. You thiefing cliff bearers are always roaming the countryside stealing our stuff. When it comes to destroyed rooms like this one, you're wasting your time anyway. There's never anything worthwhile in them, ever, in any building. I mean, come on, use your map. You can tell if a room didn't make it through the cataclysm intact if it's grey on the map. Oh, excellent. Unless you need a quick hidey hole or a place to swap out your enchant. <laughs> Consider that my contribution to your cause. Okie dokie. So... Rooms like this are useless to us. Unfortunately, it's ever so slightly difficult to see what each room has because up in the corner where the map is, I also have a frame rate from Fraps. But I know for the future now that if I've got Fraps open when I'm playing this game to um, deal with that. There we go, broke everything. see if there's anything in these rooms. Not sure what kind of things we might find. Um, ooh, that's a spell. Ooh, wow, whoa, 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 whoa. That was fast. Manor upgrade. Uh, um, that's those. Maybe they were also used. I do not know. Uh, I really did try to help out the old build building manager. Used to live here. Lots of people didn't survive the cataclysm. Second time that's been mentioned. Um, let's see. Something about a glyph protecting him. So stashes like this in abandoned buildings. So there's lots of loot apparently to discover in this game. Keep an eye out for the gold rooms on the dungeon map. Um, take what you want without guilt. Okay. Good to know. Don't want to exactly be guilty. Oh yeah, the map. Um, that room's changed colour now. I've been in it. Right. Um, let's break the armchair because we can. Nothing in this room that we can see. Right, so we're slowly learning about the mechanics of this, which is great. I'm not sure if we're actually... The, um, door, if you see, you've got red on the one that was useless, green on the one that we've been in, and gold on this one. So I wonder if that means it's still a stash room. Yes, if you look down here, it's yellowy gold. So it must be registering that that was a stash room area. Oh. I thought they were supposed to bury these people outside. Apparently he didn't realise he could get back down through the ladders, press the down key. Though, only ones that are top side. Okay. Onwards. Uh, destroyed room, so let's proceed into the bedroom. Ooh. We can enter the warp gate, health upgrade. I have no idea. Oh, one second. Manor upgrade could only be equipped or unequipped in settlements. Warp gates, mission staging areas, and destroyed rooms. Okay. So, if I head into that destroyed room that they've helpfully placed next door, which I am now hiding in, um, that's the same thing. So, let's do that again. Press X. Move the mana upgrades. Whoa, that really increased our mana. Look at that. Whew. Five of my enchant upgrade points are currently in use. Ooh, I wonder then... Yeah, these combined, so I have to pick 
which I want a combination of. I wonder if there's different levels of health upgrade then. Health upgrade 3, uh, but is that quantity? Um, probably. Yeah, because we had... Oh no, times 1. So these are different levels, but the levels are the enchant points. Okay, we've worked that out. Oops. Let's continue on. I like that you can have those windows open and still close the... Um, sorry, still move around. I'm really liking this background, you know. It appeals to me with the blue colour. Right. Hey, look at that, the darkness down below. I wonder then if that means that the darkness we could see on the um, more wooden platforms. Well, one, I think. Oh, 11. Um, since graves are in such wide supply, I've quickly inscribed my message here. Okay, so it's not necessarily actually a dead person indoors. Come to get help, apartment 3 collapsed, trapped a friend inside, get into the ventilation system, you can get them out. Um, there we go. Destroyed room. Oh, hello. The edge of the room. Someone died, survived by loving sister. Long range spell. Oh nice, because that last one is really short ranged. Um, probably want it in slot one of the action bar, so that left click triggers it. Yep. Simply drag and drop the new spell into slot one. Okay, so let's put that one in slot two, and that strange, very fast one over there. Usually a good idea to keep the best ranged spell on left click. Your wooden platforms on right click. Does that mean that if I oops, wrong thing. Let's do that? Okay. Yes. Okay, slots one and two. Do things. I'm not sure why. Um there's an L1 here as well as here. Don't quite know what that means. So let's enter the destroyed room. Yep, it's completely trapped by the destruction. So back through the ventilation system. Alright, so we can do things from a distance now. Um, very nice. Bounces along the ground. If I shoot it down, it runs along the floor. That's quite cool. Let's run outside then and continue exploring this map. Okay, so it doesn't harm the trees, this spell. Um, mauled to death by red slime. Perplexing. Um, never haven't quite recovered from the death of boyfriend. Um, I think her decision to take the slime with fire touch was no accident. Right. It's probably a warning that if you haven't gone and explored the building, you don't want to. Ooh, it's gone red. I'm not quite sure what red means. Red slime got him. Yep, red slime. <laughs> um, seriously, people need to stay back from that red slime. Okay. Alright, there we go. Ooh, achievement unlocked, innocence lost. I'm assuming that's related to the fact I've just killed something. Consciousness shards. Um, quite a lot of them, in fact. I've no idea what they do. Used at the Opal Guardian Stone in the settlement to get enchantments and other things you need. Okay, and a lot of glowing that I can't quite make out why. And we can see through the darkness now. Right. Ooh, I saw that. I'm not quite sure what that is. Slain by the icicle leapers while on a mission to gather supplies for the settlement. If only he'd thought to destroy them from a distance. Always been a master of tactics. Set up wooden platforms to snipe. Even the dangerous skelly bots from above. Oh, sorry, always been a master of tactics. Comma, setting up here. But this time just dove in. Hmm. Well, it wasn't that useful for a tutorial that he decided to kill himself for us. Don't know where that last one is hiding at the moment. But let's keep throwing the spell. Okay, there's still a couple out there. Let's 
let's keep throwing platforms down, I guess. Not sure what the glowing is for, other than to indicate that I've killed things, but more platforms. Ooh, passage to lower dungeon. Perhaps not right this moment. Let's continue to explore this upper area. Something came up then. Please remove yourself from my presence. Okay. Um, as awesome as the Ilari seem to be, don't waste your time with this one. Um, talk so it's rude, then again. Neutral Ilari always are, unlike Guardly Ilari that makes settlements safe. Okay, so multiple types of crystal beings exist apparently. Um, I've got the warp crystal, which if I enter it quickly... Whoa! Gates that you walk back to places you've already visited without having to backtrack on foot. You enter it, you see the region map in the lower right corner. Click it, what you want to walk into. Finally, click the gate. Okay. Flashing diamond. Yep. Hover over the nodes on the dungeon and region to get tooltips, right? Advance tip. You don't ever have to go into warp gate unless you want to use it. Just having been in the same room is enough to go there. Excellent. Don't go popping around your head into every warp gate you find. It's very nice that actually it's telling us how to avoid wasting our time and things to look out for. I really do like how useful these tooltips are being and I'm quite enjoying the start of this game. Might have to revisit this game next week and do a second episode on it sort of continuing on because we are getting the time on at the moment. I'm going to probably keep going for another about five minutes before I call it for tonight. So that's good. Okay. Alright, oh, period will bring up the map so you can do it without entering. Which is good because I'm guessing entering it then is just for this. So, what was that? Building interior. Surface. Ooh. I see, region map entirely. And then click on that one. Am I sure I want to go there? Yes. And bing. So we've found ourselves out here again. I'm wondering if I can then... Oh, nothing down here. I was really hoping there was something hiding in the darkness, but no. So, I've got all these platforms in my bag that I can use. Which can move that roughly level. There we go. So if we hit period... There we go. Region map keeps moving. So if I click on it. Alright, so I can actually just click on the dungeon map and warp somewhere without actually having to worry about that and then open the region map if I want to go indoors. That's very useful. Oh, I don't know how far I can fall. Uh, went to look out for someone. Slime showed up. Heed the warning. Every spell is associated with an element. Well, yeah, I've sort of got a fire and light one. Um, Oh no, air. Apparently I'd have thought that would have come under some sort of air or entropy. Okay. Um, too picky, only carried for one element. So, don't get attached to one element. Constructed a workbench, you don't even find them in settlements. Well that's nice, so I don't actually have to run back to that settlement. Spell gems let you cast spells, right? Ow, you idiot. This monster has an elemental resistance against your current spell. Um, pause the game with P and hover over. Okay. Resistance to air, resistance to fire. Don't show again. So, one second. Um, nothing in there. So how do I craft things then. Um, is this something about a workbench? But it's got 200% elemental resistance. I can't cast through it and it's got the resistance to both my current spells. 
Um, I lack the needed intelligence. Okay. Uh, mildly lost. What happens if I try and click there? You can't walk because I've never been there. Okay. It's got a boss in it, the next region. Alright. Um, well, yeah, once we work out then how to get past that slime, unfortunately... We will then encounter the problem of trying to deal with a boss. <laughs> 10 damage from lightning. Okay. So this moves me, burning up mana until I stop, but you take twice as much damage. Alright. Um. That's nice. So I can't harm this thing in the slightest. And if I try to get closer and use number three, same thing. <sighs> Not quite sure what to do here. Um, let's, the things I should do vital supplies. I should do it's suggesting I do things crafting grimoire find the ingredients blah blah, blah. okay so oops. that was that one that one I don't necessarily want things only found by crafting but okay to click on that. Uh, by element. We know we can't use those two, so let's look for something. Maybe. Missing ingredients, far too many. Um, water. Okay, so these are all not unlocked, which is why they're greyed out. Far too many missing. Only found in certain regions. Great. Um, only find in gem veins in caverns. Right, so very little chance. Oops. Let's see then. Air. We've got that one, but we can't use it, right? Light spells. Ball of light. Job energy slice. We're only missing one ingredient for this. An opal. Right. It only has one <laughs> ingredient useful. Um, I'm a little stuck. So I think I'm going to have to do what I said. End the episode. And come back <laughs> at a later point And hopefully work out how to sort of... Ooh, that's cool. Right. Work out how to sort of... Um, find the stuff I'm missing, as I really haven't got a clue how to craft another spell to take on that thing, and that I'm aware of, you can't attack in any other way. Um, the... Okay, let's just do something quickly. Thank you. And this guy won't talk to me. Oh, but he will heal me. Just noticed that. He healed me. That was friendly. Um, right. Thank you. Still lost. Still cannot work out anything to sort of help me with this area. As apparently being a red slime is not just being a red slime. Is there anything over in the air. Nope. Still not taking full damage. This game doesn't seem to really want me to backtrack, so I'm not sure. Oh, wrong thing. Um, three. Where to find the missing ingredients for anything to 
do stuff. And nothing else really seems to drop anything. <laughs> really very lost here. You burn. Apparently, ammunition goes to the right. Right. Uh, completely stuck. Yep. I am going to turn off. I've thoroughly enjoyed this. And yep, next week we will come back when hopefully I've put my thinking cap on and worked out what on earth I'm actually doing in this area. As for the moment, I'm incredibly stuck. Unless number five does something. Use the Opal Guardian Stone in the settlement to get things I might need. I wonder, quickly, oops, didn't actually mean to enter this, if that's what I'm missing. So if I just click on one at any other time now. I said something about the Opal Guardian Stone, but this is just, this isn't a settlement, is it? Um... Really not sure what's classed as settlement. Should stop entering that. Let's just click on this a second. Um, yes, we want to head into there, somewhere here. Yes, one of these things has the gate in it. Don't show it again. Okay. So can we find? A stone around here at all? Is there one? Nothing at all on the map. So I don't know. Um, if I hit five, nothing happens. And this is the only sort of settlement there is around here. I'm not sure what these light bulbs are or when everything else is already lit up. But let's break the vases, get some more clay. Ah. Oh, it's a clock! Right, does that mean I can smash these lights as well? Woohoo! Can I smash the big lights? Yes, I can. Excellent. Um, I'm happy. And very lost. Because none of this indicates any sort of... Um, usable things. Unless it was in the destroyed room. Let's quickly jump through. Nope, there's nothing useful in here at all. Another destroyed room. Um, hmm. Yep. Gonna have to call it. Time's getting on. I have to actually get this rendered and everything before too much time passes as it's about four o'clock in the morning now so if i want to get this up in time for three o'clock i'm going to have to leave so let's head back to the main menu um saved world file when i open the menu okay quit to main menu um this will save all your progress then yes no concerns there as long as it actually saves my progress right um, well this is a valley without wind, it's got off to a good start, I'm slightly stuck at the moment in what seems to be the tutorial level. For a lot of it I think I'm just overthinking, if I actually paid attention to what I was picking up and stuff, then I think actually this would be going a little bit quicker. I will at some point read the story that's flicking up the screen at the moment, just to say, the first time I opened this was when I started recording, so I haven't taken the time to read it. But I'm really enjoying the soundtrack and the graphics and controls, so I'll talk more about that when I get back next week. As for now, I'm going to say goodbye, and I hope you've enjoyed this little peek into this game. It's been rather fun. Um, Steamworks are enabled apparently, just seeing in the top corner, that could be interesting see if we can find out what kind of things this has sort of multiplayer and things wise in the future. I'll see you soon. Bye! <laughs>